Hey YouTube, um, I got a request from A-S-S-I-I-E-J-J, -J, um, about brush use and blending brushes and, um, a few, like four MAC brushes, but unfortunately I only have two. I have 217 and 239. But I went on the MAC website and I looked up what 219 and 224 were. And they're brushes that I think I have in my collection, just not, they're not made by MAC. Um, I first wanted to go over the ones that I actually have that were MAC. There's two. I have um, 239, which is this one. Okay, and the 239 is 2450, and it's used to build color, and it's rounded edge, you can see the rounded edge, and it's dense. I like, I like using this on the lid to pack on color, um, and it's also good for, sh <laughs> for shading and blending eyeshadows and emollient-based products. Okay, my husband just came in. Okay, then I also have... They might not look that great because I just washed them for the video. Okay, and then I have 217. This one is 217. I don't know if you can see the numbers. Doubt it. And um, that's a blending oval. That's a blending brush with an, um, I want to say a rounded, a squared off oval shape. You could maybe see it over here better. Mine is old. So it might, it's not gonna, it's gonna look a little bit more rounded when you get it. It's $22.50. Um, okay, well, I'll go over the, the, that stuff first. Then Max 219 is what their Mac is calling a pencil brush. And I, when I looked at the picture, the first thing I thought of were my crease brushes. Um, and these are from Essence of Beauty. This one is the larger one. Okay, larger, domed, dense, you know, to the point. And this one is the smaller one. It just real. This one really reminds me of the 219 brush. Um, this is a. These were a duo, and they were like five dollars at CVS. Essence of Beauty. That's. I don't know if you can see that. They're short handle compared to the Mac. Just so you can get an idea. Oh wait, I shouldn't do that, sorry. Compared to the math. But to me, this looks like it would be a 219 brush. And this is what I use to um, put on color right in the crease. I would show you, but my face is looking scary now. But, um, okay. So the MAC one is $23. It's a long handle and I believe it's white fibers. Um, it's a white fibered brush. The um, 224 reminded me instantly when I saw the picture of the Sonia K one that I have. This is the Sonia K that I bought at Target. I don't think. Okay, maybe. And it's a light, it's a dome shaped soft bristle brush. Um, and I believe the fibers are black also. Max brush is $28. The Sonia K one is no more than $7. Five or seven dollars. And then Flirt also has one, but I find that the bristles for the Flirt one are a lot longer. And it might compare to another MAC brush. See, that's the longer. You can see. I hope you can see. Okay, so these two would compare to MAC 224. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to show you how they work. I'm not going to do the pencil brushes, which um, is max 219. Pencil brush is also good for the lower lash line and the crease. You can get a definite crease, maybe the inner corner of the crease, the inner inner to like halfway of the crease for the small one, and then for the little bit larger one, which and it still has dense bristles. It's not like like this that kind of just folds over with the same pressure. Okay. Um, that is for I use like the outer V. That's a good brush. Um, and also for cutting the crease, those two. 
but I'm going to do the two MAC brushes that I actually have the real um, actual brush and maybe this might help her um, okay so I'm going to have to set the camera down for a second but at least you're looking at the brushes in the glass okay what I have on my hand is NYX's Pots and Pans it's a silver base it's a silver crayon, cream crayon, and I picked up just some NYX colors because my palettes are all upstairs, and well, these were upstairs too, but I wanted to just bring down some vivid colors. I have black, I have, um, this is kiwi, white, um, red pie moon, what the heck, red bean pie, and champagne. Um, okay. And then I have lemonade, but I don't know how I'm really going to do that because, you know, I can't edit, so whatever. Okay, now, so I'm going to take the 239 brush, okay? I'm going to attempt to show you how to blend, I guess, on my hands. Put this a little bit higher, a little bit wider. Okay, blah, 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 blah. okay. Okay, so on the back of my hand it looks like this, and I just added a little bit more. Okay, so I'm taking the 239 brush, okay, and I'm going to put it in the kiwi. And this is going to imitate a lid. So see how it picks up the color of the kiwi just with a few swipes? I mean, NYX is very pigmented anyway, but, um... It just, it's, this is a good brush. You know what, Sonia K also has a brush just like the 239. Um, I'm going to have to add it to the information because I left it upstairs. Okay, I really hope you guys are going to be able to see the color payoff in this. But, and I'm sure not. Okay, maybe that might work. See how it's like, you kind of press the color in. The 239 is good for pressing, sh um, shading, and blending. And it's also good for emollient, which is um, like oil cream based products. Like if you have a cream brush or something like that, that's good with the 239. Okay, so then the next one I'm going to use is I'm going to use the red bean pie and I'm going to use the crease brush that I was talking about. Um, I know I said I wasn't, but I'm going to use it anyway. And this is similar to the 219 brush, the 219 brush. Okay? I'm going to dip it in some of this. I really hope this video works out. Okay? And this will be, be the crease. Okay? So this is the outer crease. And of course, you know, your eye shape is not flat, so it's not going to look flat like that, but just to get the idea. Then the inner corner crease, this is, a, this is mimicking the 219 brush once again, the 219 brush. I just wanted to show you, see that's the difference in the width of the bristles. I hope this is coming out clear. Okay, so the inner, that's like an inner corner, and that's an outer corner. Okay, and then I'm going to take the 217 brush, the actual MAC 217 brush, which is my favorite blending brush, to do the highlight. Um, um, to do the highlight like right below the brow bone. Okay, and I'm taking champagne for that. Big fluffy brush. See, it's like real fluffy. Okay, and then I'm going to add that here right on top. I picked these colors so you could really see them, the difference in the colors. Okay, I'm running out of time. Amazing. Running out of time. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush that's mimicking the, 220, the 224, that dome brush, and I'm now going to blend it. Hopefully this will work. Okay, I'm going to blend. See how it's softening up the lines? And it's softening up this line too. I really hope you can see, guys can see that. It was very vivid before and now it softened up the line. So that's my, that's my kind of um, 
showing. I don't know. It's not great, but um, I really hope this helped. Um, so 239 and 239, 217, blending, um, brow bone. Um, these are the fake 219 brushes, pencil brush, and this is the fake 224 brush. Okay, I hope this helps. Bye!